In this video, I will be basically explaining the door mechanic system in town Roblox. I will be explaining how a door works and what tools are used to make a door, and what each variable within the tool do to the door. First of all, a door is made of three parts. We've got first the main, the actual door. Nothing happens to this door. You do not need to edit this door at all unless you're resizing it or adding decorations. And the other two parts are the positional parts. These parts basically guide the door. So right now, this since they're above each other, this door will go upwards, up and down since they're above each other, like so. But if you were if you were to move these parts right next to each other, this door will just start moving this way or wherever direction the part is. So basically, these two parts are the most important part of the door. These parts control the door, basically. They tell the door where to go. The door system is relied on by the texture tool. The texture tool controls the speed and the audio. The texture tool is used to edit the positional parts, not the door itself, but these two parts. So basically, we will be going over what this texture tool can actually do to the door, basically. So, when you're editing a door, one of these positional parts, the side must always be front. Not bottom or back, just no side other than front. It must always be front. The image ID is used to place in audio IDs. Well, it's used to basically make sound for your door. So if you wanted to make an opening so sound or something, then you place the audio ID into the image ID. Transparency does not really do anything at all, but you must always have it at negative 500 for these parts to work and make, to guide the door basically. So this, this variable must always be negative 500. And now we're at the repeat. The digit on the left connects this part to this part. To connect these parts, there must be one part named 1 and one part named 2. These, whatever part is named 1 and 2, are connected and when the parts are connected they basically tell the door to go from part one to part two and now the digit on the right the digit on the right controls the speed of the door the higher the number the slower it gets but the lower the number the faster the door opens and closes and that is basically the mechanics of a door to review everything all a door is made of three parts the door and the two positional parts that guide the door. Second of all, the texture tool is used to add the variables and control how fast and what audio comes from the door. 